Hello? Welcome to Salt and Light Canning. I'm Jessica and this is my kitchen. And I am working on cleaning out my freezer some in January. So part of that is I am making cranberry juice. Cranberry juice is so easy to make. I have frozen cranberries here and I'm putting about a cup and then a little bit more in the jar. And then we will add sugar and hot water and put it in the canner. And that's like all there is to cranberry juice. It's very easy. So I'm gonna get my jars full of um, cranberries, like a cup. You can do like cup to cup and a half, whatever you like, whatever is your preference. About a cup is good for me. And then after I get cranberries in my jars, I will add some sugar, so. First cranberries, then I do sugar, then I do hot water. So during cranberry season, you know, the winter months and cranberry season, I buy cranberries and I put them in the freezer. And then through the rest of the year, as I make jams or whatever I'm making with cranberries, I pull them out and we use them. And making your own cranberry juice is very inexpensive and very, very easy to do. Okay. I have all of these jars filled up with cranberries. I have more jars in the dishwasher getting ready. And now I'm going to add some sugar. So my jars have cranberries in them. And now I'm going to add about a quarter cup of just raw organic sugar. You can use any kind of sugar you like. This is what I like. This is what I use. But please, you do you. If you didn't want to add sugar at all until you open the jar, you don't have to. It is completely up to you. All right, I'm going to get my hot water off the stove and we'll get these filled up. Since I have cranberries and sugar in my jars, I'm gonna add just some hot water. This is just filtered water because I have city water. If you don't have city water, it's probably not a big deal. And we're gonna fill to about an inch of headspace. Okay, now I take my debubbling tool, debubble as best as I can, because the cranberries really like to float. And I wipe the rims of my jars with vinegar you don't have to. You can just use water, whatever you use. Have a lid and I line it up. Again, you don't have to. And a ring and just to finger tight. And move on to our next jar. My canner is full. Everything is covered by at least an inch of water. I have a rack in the bottom and I put just a splash of vinegar in to uh, just help keep my jars from looking cloudy. You don't have to do that. If you don't want to add vinegar, you do not have to. I'll get my burner turned on. I'm going to bring this to a boil. And once they process at a boil, we're going to let them process at a boil for 15 minutes. And then I'll be taking them out. So I'll see you back in, well, a little longer than 15 minutes for me, but like a second for you. So my timer went off. And I have been waiting. I turned everything off and took the lid off and I've been waiting. You need to wait a good three to five minutes before you take things out of your water bath canner. With your pressure canner, you need to wait and do things slowly to equalize the temperature a little bit before you take things out. Don't be impatient, okay? Just, just give everything a few minutes okay so now i'm going to take them out now you're going to want to let these sit on your shelf for uh, about two weeks or more so that the berries have time to infuse into the water and it becomes juice right now they're really not juice but if you give it a couple of weeks then you're going to have some delicious cranberry juice that didn't cost as much as cranberry juice from the store. And I think you're gonna be really happy with the result that you get. So anyways, thank you so much for taking the time to watch my videos. Um, 
You guys are just a blessing to me. Be so blessed. Know that you're loved. And be a blessing to someone else. I'll see you in the next video.